I'm Todd Margolis with the University of California at San Diego. We're here at the Kaus booth at Supercomputing 2010. We're looking at a new augmented reality system called Hover, which stands for Heads Up Virtual Reality. It's a head track VR environment, which includes haptics and 3D stereo. So as I move forward, I'm wearing 3D glasses, which allow me to see it all in 3D. If I move the object, I also can move my stylus, which shows a little red ball inside the virtual environment. And if I touch the artifact, I'm able to actually feel each one of the little cracks in this particular object. This is an object that was found recently from a dig site in Jordan that we believe is about 3,000 years old. So it's very fragile, and it's a much better object to be interacting with inside of in, uh, virtual reality instead of physically. This particular hover system is our higher quality version. We're using a sensible Omni haptics device which has a pretty large haptic volume and I can actually see my hand back there as well as see the virtual environment on top of my hand. We're using a Vicon camera tracking system for head tracking. So we've got little markers on the glasses, and it uses IR or near IR light. We're using a space navigator here, which is a six degree of freedom navigational device to be able to move the virtual environment, rotate it, and pull it around. As you can see, we also have another pair of glasses in that environment that have a little yellow ball. That's another hover unit that's on the other side of this table. Let's go over there and check it out. So on this hover unit, we're using a Samsung 3D TV, whereas we were using a Panasonic Plasma 3D TV before. We're also using a different haptic unit. This uses a Novant Falcon, which is generally targeted at a consumer gaming market. It's got a slightly smaller field of view, a little bit less resolution. For head tracking, instead of the Vicon system, here we've developed our own custom computer vision, which uses a $15 IR camera and open CD libraries to be able to track the markers and do face detection. We also use the same space traveler to be able to move the object around. The whole hover system is intended to be built for less than $10,000.